Hey YouTube, so this is Matt, back at Elroy Machining. I know I haven't done a video post in a while, but um, I've been working on some extracurricular activities. I mean a boat. Um, had a little side project, just wanna try to get it on the water. But the boat's done for the most part, and so I went back to the shop, and I've gotten a new controller put in my mill. So in recent times, I've been running this. It's a Masso second gen controller. They're made in Australia. Um, it's a great controller, but it doesn't have the functions that most modern machine tools have, namely cutter comp, um, programmable macros, and a few others. <clears throat> but I just found out uh, maybe three months ago that Acorn CNC by Centroid was released two years ago. Um, it wasn't released at the time that I got my Masso, so you know it wasn't available. But um, I went ahead and purchased one. It was about two hundred fifty dollars, somewhere around that ballpark. Um, I got it within a couple of days. And it's set right here on my mill for God, two, three months while I was working on my on my boat. Uh, but I got around to installing it, and it's still in limbo mode right now. Um, I could probably make parts with it, but I haven't fully hooked up everything that I want. But for starters, I have here's the acorn board itself. I have my axis um, hooked up to it. So my X, Y, and Z axis do work. Uh, my limit switches work. I just, I literally just got those um, wired in before making this video. Here is the controller. It's a little bit more robust than the Masso. This is actually my home PC. I just moved it out here for testing. So, this is the interface. It's all virtual. Over here you have all your XYZ functions. Flood coolant, spindle brake, spindle forward reverse, uh, work light, MPG, um, feed rate override. And over here you'll have your XYZ A coordinates. I do not have an A axis um, yet uh in the future i do plan on getting a fourth axis your home coordinates <clears throat> and this is your memory log so i have it set up right now i have my axis jog away from their limit switches quills down and i just finished writing the macro for this limit switch homing procedure. So here it says home not set, press cycle start to send machine to home position. So I'll press cycle start. And it will home the X or the Z, X and Y axis at 30 inches a minute. Reset cleared. Uh, press cycle start to send the machine to home. Press cycle start over here. And it should go home. Here's the limit switch for the Y. Next up, I'm gonna try to get my um, coolant pump installed onto the controller where you just click a button and it turns on. And the one-shot lube pump installed. 
It has a one shot and it has a small motor. This is a Bajure one shot oiler. Uh, it, it'll grease the XYZ and the knee and the spindle at the same time. So I will try to get that installed in the next couple of days, I guess. But um, appreciate y'all tuning in and uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all have a great day.